October is National Disability Awareness Month, a fitting time for a job fair today aimed directly at those who have an even harder time finding work in this economy. In this Not On Your Side Consumer Watch, Claire Dewan explains why there's a big push to get them hired. Like many job fairs these days, applicants here far outnumber the businesses hiring. But that's not their only challenge. Oh, kind of hard for me because I am my disability being half blind. David Shalon is one of about 35,000 disabled unemployed people in Pima County. He faces an uphill battle convincing prospective employers he can do the job. That's even though people with disabilities have a proven track record, says the director of development at the Beacon Group. Studies have shown that people with disabilities make great employees. That doesn't take the accommodation that, that some people think. They stay on the job longer. Uh, they have fewer problems. They're certainly grateful for the opportunity. They're hard workers. Hard workers attended this job fair at the Beacon Group by the hundreds, connecting with employers, sending them a bigger message. It gives all of us a better perspective of how the economy is out there and how many people are out there looking. I think it's a real eye opener for every employer to get out here and see where the needs are. Organizers hope to get at least 100 people with disabilities hired this month. And Ron Barber, chairman of the group putting on the job fair, hopes other businesses will soon follow suit. Well, I think when some people get over some of the stigma attached with disability, the word disability, they realize it really is about people being differently able, and these folks can prove it by their work. Kind of a huge turnout today. What does that say to you? Say to me that people are interested in working, regardless of disability. Locally, the current unemployment rate is close to 10%, but people with disabilities have never seen anything better than a 70% unemployment rate. And the purpose of the job fair today is clearly put a dent in that. Claire, good to see such a big turnout. Uh, as a result of the interest today, are there any plans to have another one of these job fairs? There are, Jennifer. They didn't expect so many people. Organizers tell me they will book a bigger venue, get more businesses to participate, and make it an annual event. Uh, it sounds like it's good for everybody all around.